and welcome to a very special Gundam Battle Operation 2 featuring the Dom Nomades. I hope that's how it's said. A tropical test type Dom hit up with a Gallup propulsion system and the Hilt offers turret. Um, an interesting unit from the Code Fairy game. Um, it's, it's a different one. It is a 500 cost, ground only support, that is a ballistic resistance of 15, a beam resistance of 20, a melee resistance of 25, fairly impressive considering, a range strength of 38, a melee strength of 12, so it's not just throwing kittens at a wall, I'm sorry for the <laughs> that comment, <laughs> movement speed of 125, so eh, not bad, and a frust gauge of 70. Eh, also not bad. Close range slots of 4, medium of 14, and long of 18. For equipment, we have the giant bazooka, or, if you have it, the large Gatling Cannon Heavy. Um, both are good. I just tend to prefer the bazooka for a backup. It has the heat halberd, which um, causes knockdown on any hit. So you don't have to do an R back R2. You just hit somebody, shazam. We got the <laughs> the 30 cm cannon heat. So it's a angled shot that fires a heat round a single slug effectively. A 30 cm cannon type three. It fires a round that shatters and kind of hits a well a large area. We have effectively a railgun shot, so it's straight, there's no angling to it, and it does pretty impressive damage. And we have the smoke dischargers, which I completely forgot to use in the match, but be aware that they're there. We have high performance radar level 3 for skills, high performance scope level 3, observational data link, frontline support system level two so that does help in some cases special back add-on buffer so negative 30 percent for getting shot in the back because this thing has a gigantic back special leg buffer anti-blast stabilizers shock dampers and the uggs the ugs when the unit you're operating is crouching, drives and ugs into the ground to detect enemy units within radar range and share said info with allies. You can even detect enemies in stealth mode with this skill. Pretty nice, and you'll see that because there to be these little pulses that come out from the unit in the match. And, of course, precision shelling, which offers a plus four. 5% to firing modifiers when crouched. Or if you're in space and you have this unit, it's just when you're not moving in space. In space! So, what is my opinion of this unit? It is faster than I expected and slower than I expected at times. It's gigantic and it is a very big target. It's a unit that I'd say, pick in discretion and the t know the maps that you are deploying it on. It has a lot of the things that we would definitely say are good on the Hildolfer without having that transformation mode. It's kind of a decent unit in my opinion. Do I think it's the best? No. Do I think it's the worst? No. But it is definitely one that I think will take a little bit of considering its use. I think it has a role, and I actually had a good bit of fun even though I screwed up multiple times in the match, and I'm not going to conceal that for anyone. So let's see how it did in the match to come. Hello, and welcome to another match featuring the Nomades, which I believe I'm saying correctly, but who knows. Anyway, um... I kind of did this unit on uh, a whim because I wasn't sure what to record that day. Here we go. And I was like, I've That's never done shit. anything with this unit, so here we are. So, naturally, what the first thing I got to do is come right over to sea because I always seem to be near sea. Or 
is it deep? One of those two. And I'm gonna go ahead and capture it. It's always a good idea to capture a base near you. It helps with points. And especially at the beginning of the match when your teams are pulling each other out, it's just good to have a little bit closer with spawn point. And I decided to come up here and use this as a, a bit of a filling out for what this team is going to be like. So you can see the little uh, UG thing is going to work there with the little propulsion it gives outside the unit. I, I'm going to definitely switch up my uh, my quick switches. One of your allies um, has marked an enemy. As I was uh, a little bit out of practice with some of the units that act like this. But honestly, considering that so much of their team is just simply ignoring me, this is a brilliant situation because I can start really racking out some damage. And besides my fumbling around and a few bad call shots, we've done some decent damage so far with this bulking uniform. Of a suit. So, I'm going to keep maneuvering a little bit. Um, I usually don't play supports on this map, even though I have a few recordings of supports that would be coming up on this map. For some reason, I just kept getting this on rotation. But, um, like you can see, uh, when they're packed up, this unit can be such a pain in the butt. That unit right there, he's going to come back to haunt me several times. <laughs> But um, as they kind of jump, jump down and avoid um, avoid being able to be shot from me, there's that uh, Uggs again. Um, I'm gonna have to do some repositioning, and I'm gonna mess up in a little bit because for some reason I forgot I was highlighting this <laughs> and thought it was controlling the normal dom. So yeah, decent amount of damage. I unfortunately for my team decide to focus on this guy for some reason. I miss my shot there with Vika. I pull my shot there. We'll get him with some of the scatter. I don't know if he was having a bad day or he just decided that he was going to be focused on me. Uh, the Ray here doesn't seem to notice me. <laughs> Even though we were standing next to each other. And uh, I'm gonna make some bold moves here and forget that I do not have uh, balance and you go, it's time to leave. This unit is fast enough to get you in the trouble and slow enough to not get you out. So we'll hit him, and there's that knockdown I was talking about with the weapon. I try to get fancy here, and I just waste my effort. So I'm still using this little chunk of ground as a bit of protection. I'm gonna knock him down again, but I'm by myself. There's three people here, and I'm just not gonna have a huge amount of uh, options. So I end up coming up here like an idiot. I should have probably stayed down, but there's two raids. I'm not gonna live long, and there we go. However, I did tie up three people on the other team, so can't complain about that. And I realized that this team is a little gun-shy about uh, getting into a lot of melees after that first bit, so that'll come into play later in the match. So, our team blew up their base. Yay. And I decided to spawn here at our own base because I saw the one guy fighting and I'm like, you know what, if I go up there, I'm just going to be really, really easy. And I noticed someone trying to capture a thing, and I decided to pop around in there and kill the pilot. Now, he's going to be a little gun shy about coming up on me, which is going to work out fine as I uh, help chip away at this suit. Ooh, and we have two of the units on our team, and I didn't realize that till right now. I'm so observant. There's three of that unit on the map total. So I'm going to move up here, pull my shot really low, hit the raid, but I'm not going to do a huge amount of damage. Pop that up there, miss again. Now admittedly, what he's trying to do is kind of want to push them back a little bit, but I'm out of practice with these units. 
that are artillery based and I keep misjudging what I, the angles I need to fire at, uh, the ranges, those fun things. However, we've managed to kind of keep them in a favorable position as they keep shipping away at their support. Ooh, nice shot. In forcing them to have to play to some of our team's strength, being shooting people. So, it's helping out in the long run because, well, here's my friend again. He keeps coming back. I miss again with the bazooka. I turn, and there's three people here firing and fighting this one. This is where I should have probably been focused, but this guy does seem to really want to whoop my butt. So, I decided just to get rid of him because otherwise I'm going to get shot to pieces all day long. Unfortunately, and I mean, it is putting 1 and 5 in a bit of a uh, disadvantage, but, oh, here we go, and he's gone. Finally, I use my brain. I'm going to take a gamble shot over there, and Shazam, there's that kind of railgun shot. And honestly, 1 and 5 are doing a pretty dang good job at holding the line. I should have turned over and shot at the one that 1 was fighting, but for some reason I was focused on <laughs> their Gundam, or their Mark II Gundam. I don't know why. But, uh, yep, just kind of wasting time there. But I'm focused on trying to, to help my team, so it's a bit of a mess. And as I said, severely out of practice with these kind of units. So we'll fire, take him out, and... Oh, he, there's my friend again. And we will watch that shot go into the meta realm where which it will never come back from. Take a shot, miss. This was just a weird day when it came down to it. But even with how bad I'm doing with this unit, in my opinion, I think it does show off that it's quite capable in the right situation. So I'm going to take this spot up here, because I wanted to get some cheeky shots there, but it wasn't You're working out. And I got a shot in there. And we're going to <clears throat> effectively still make a little bit here as I get another shot on the support. Miss my shot there, and the raid finally gets close to me and fails. Let's see, that is a big suit. And uh, no spots on the board in third place. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.